Hi, are you starting a diet this week? Or if not this week, maybe you started at the beginning of the month. Maybe you've seen the weather starting to get better. Well, when I say better, the sun's been out for more than a day, so uh, I guess that counts, right? <clears throat> or maybe you're seeing what kind of uh, summer holidays starting to come into focus and uh, the clothes that you would want to wear have mysteriously shrunk over the winter. And so you're starting to think, okay, I need to watch what I eat, I need to become more active, go to the gym, exercise, etc., and generally go on a health kick. Or your annual health kick, depends on who you are. Okay, so if you are, then I wish you all the best. Okay, my advice would be try not to make too many changes at one go because they become difficult to maintain. But what if I was to tell you that you can make one change right here, right now, that would make the biggest difference to achieving your goals. In fact, you probably achieve them half the time and make your life more fulfilling. Sounds good, huh? All right, so that one change is simple. That one change is you. Well, not you personally, obviously, because I think you're wonderful. But it's more about how you view yourself and how you structure your uh, life, your day, okay? So how do we do that, I hear you say. Well, I want to share with you three steps that you can take that will give you a little bit more clarity on your goals and a sense of purpose, okay? So it's taking you, helping you set, map out the journey ahead of you to achieve your goals, okay? Are you ready for this? Let's get started. Step number one is make yourself number one. Our natural instinct is to look after everyone else. Family, friends, customers, colleagues, work, etc. We put our heart and soul into everything that we do. But we invariably find ourselves at the bottom of the pile. The problem there is when we're trying to make changes to our health and fitness, we're then having to try and find extra time to create healthy meals and uh, exercise. Now this works well for a few weeks, but then something happens and uh, you maybe have to work late or you've not had time to prepare meals. And before you know it, or you've got several things on, before you know it, you've maybe had a takeaway, the diet's gone out the window or you've just raided whatever was left in the, the freezer or the fridge, etc. And maybe a few days have gone by and before you know it, a week's gone by and you haven't exercised. How does that make you feel? Well, in order to make the change, the changes that you want, um, you need to prioritise yourself. Now, this doesn't mean neglecting anybody or anything. In fact, you're going to have more time to do all the things that you need to do or you want to do and spend time, great time with the, uh, the people in your life. I like to think back to a time where you used to bounce out of bed in the morning. Uh, you had lots of energy, you used to be able to get a lot of stuff done, so I either went for a workout or you got a lot of stuff done, you had breakfast, you went to work, you got lots of stuff done at work, you had a great day, great time, great fun. You come home at night time, either then you had uh, worked out then, or you did lots of stuff uh, around the house, you could uh, sit down and have dinner, and you got a lot of stuff done in the day. You still had time to sit back, put your feet up, watch a bit of telly, go to bed, have a great night's sleep and get up and do it all again the next day. And the thing was, you never finished the day feeling exhausted, okay? You felt satisfied, felt like you'd achieved a lot, but it didn't feel like you were moving out of second gear. It just felt like you had this endless stream of energy throughout the day. Remember those days? The good old days, eh? Well, that, that's what we want to try and recreate. It's getting all that energy back again. Now, all it is, requires, is a, a change of mindset, okay? It's not a major change, it's just a change of mindset. So what we need to do is take a, a pen and piece of paper and write down the characteristics of the future you, okay? What you want to uh, be like, how you want uh, things to be, okay? So do you want to be... Uh, do you feel relaxed through the day or do you want to feel like you're rushing around, constantly rushing around? What kind of energy, how much energy you want to be able to, uh, do you want to have? Okay, so right you're doing all the things that you maybe want to be able to do that you're not doing just now. Um, yeah, how you want your days to be 
uh, all the things that are important to you, the time that you want to be able to spend with uh, everybody else, the things, all the other things that you want to be able to do. Okay, so be going to as much detail as you can because this is going to be very, very useful. And that takes us neatly on to step number two.